Um, first thing we'll look at is all of the malabsorption syndromes. So uh, malabsorption is whenever uh, the intestines are not able to absorb uh, some of the nutrients, carbohydrates, fats, or proteins uh, in the food. Now, um, commonly, any type of you have, any time you have any malabsorption syndrome, uh, one of the first symptoms is going to be steatorrhea, and this is basically uh, fat in the uh, feces. And this is because obviously fat needs uh, fat is the most difficult to uptake since it's lipid soluble. Um, now this is going to be the initial symptoms, but if if it continues for too long, you can get some severe systems as well. Um, primarily, you can get uh, wasting, uh, obviously because of the nutritional deficiency. So uh, nutritional deficiency will eventually lead to uh, the person being very skinny or, or wasting. Uh, obviously, they're going to have decreased calcium absorption, and that can lead to osteomalacia. Okay, bleeding can occur. Um, why? Because you're going to get decreased vitamin K, and so vitamin K deficiency eventually going to lead to bleeding. And what if you have decreased B12 and folate? Well, that's going to lead to uh, macrocytic anemia. So any of these um, malabsorption syndromes can lead to macrocytic anemia. Um, now, as far as the conditions goes, um, there's a mnemonic that makes it easier to memorize. Uh, it's going to be these. So these will cause C cause devastating absorption problems. So um, what do they mean? The T is for tropical sprue. Uh, the W is for uh, Whipples, uh, the C is for Celiac, uh, the D is for Disaccharides, uh, the A is for A-beta lipoproteinemia, and the P is for pancreatitis. So these are all of your uh, major causes of malabsorption. Uh, we'll go through them one by one uh, just to kind of explain them. They're, they're none, of, none of them are too complicated. Maybe celiac kind of gets involved a little bit. Uh, so with, with tropical sprue, uh, this happens in the tropics. Um, however, you, you just treat it with antibiotics and it goes away. So they're assuming it's caused by some sort of uh, bacteria, but they don't know which bacteria it is. And that's pretty much it. Now with uh, Whipples, Whipples, all right, um, this, they do know which bacteria causes it. Uh, it's actually going to be uh, Trophyrimi uh, whippoli. Um, and this is uh, uh, this is gram positive, and it's also PAS positive. Um, and what you have is you have foamy macrophages uh, in the in in the lamina propria and the uh, mesenteric nodes. Uh, you get uh, three symptoms, uh, cardiac, uh, arthralgia, and you get neurologic. So uh, the good mnemonic here is whip, uh, whipped cream comes in a can. So whipped cream is going to be whip lie and can, cardiac, arthralgia, and neuro neurologic. So that's a nice little... Now, with celiac disease, this is an autoimmune condition uh, where you have...